hello everyone this is prashant chaudhary i welcome you all to my channel classy power app so in this video we will showing you how we can get the all the images that are present in any folder of your cloud storage into the pdf and that type of setup we are going to create in the power platform okay so i'm just taking you to my screen so here here is the solution that i have created and in that solution i have nothing so we are going to achieve this functionality by using the two things one is the power app another thing is the power automate and the setup we are going to create in that setup there is a button in the power and after clicking that, that button from the power one pdf would be downloaded in the system and that pdf is having the table of all the images that are present in any of the folder okay so the folder for now i'm just using the folder that is present in of one of my sharepoint site folder uh, pics okay so in that folder i am having four images okay so let me just head over to my solution and we are going to create the flow power cloud flow and since that uh, flow would be triggered from the power app so we'll use the trigger as power app and then when we initialize two variable that should be it should be base 64 and the approach we are using in this method is the base 64 conversion another variable name would be, let's say this variable it should be html table and it would be of type array and one more variable we are using and that variable will be final table okay it would be of type string three variables we have in this slice and now we want our flow to get all the images that are present in any folder so we use connector get files since our folder is present in sharepoint so we use the sharepoint connector so it is just making one connection of mine with the sharepoint okay so i use i just use my site and the library was the pix where all the images are present after that we need the content of the image of the file since that content is the image okay so we'll use get file content and the site would be the same and identifier since identifier should be dynamic content okay identifier okay get files again as long as i attached it to the identifier it will come to the apply to each because the get files give you give us the output in any type of table okay so now we'll use now is the time to use my variables so i use first set function set variable connector and here i'm just using base 64 variable and I'm going to use the expression and that expression I'm using the function as base64. Base64 is a function that is used to change the data type of any media data type into the text type. Okay. So this method you, you can also use in order to store your image into the any multi line of text. Okay. Or any text type of column. That function you can use for this. So that function is only in the Power Automate right now. It's not in the Power App. So but that's why we are using power automate for this feature we use base 64 conversion and in the dynamic content we use the get file content okay file content and okay before this we need to tell we need to attach some line of code it's not actually line of code it's simply the what type of content you are passing here so which i'm just copying it this here and you can get this get that code in the description of this video yes it should be before that okay it is nothing just the data is data is nothing just an image slash png type double colon base 64 okay now as we need to collect all images content into one variable so that's why we use append function append connector okay so we use append connector 
append to array variable because we have we have already initialized the array variable that array variable name is the html table in the value we are writing little code of the html the very basic code of adding new row in any table okay so it would be tr and just closing that tr now one td closing that td since our row is having two columns one column is the name of the file another column would be the image of that file okay that's why we are using two TDD pairs two TD pairs actually okay so in the first we I'm just passing the name name okay name with extension so that it will pass the complete name with extension of the file of the image and in the second I'm just going to pass the variable that variable is storing the base 64 conversion of the file okay so it has we have stored that into the base 64 variable so now here and we are done and since we have used the append so it will collect each and every file into the base 64 and add append it to the my array variables okay now we use one another variable let's say set variable and in the set variable we are going to store the array variable to the final table variable okay fine now we are going to create one since we have used the HTML thing so first we need to create the HTML table and that HTML table we are going to create in our OneDrive, okay. create file. It would be OneDrive. It is creating connection. So and the path, let's say path would be in the roots, HTML files. Okay. We need to give a good name. Let's say I'm just using nothing, just a ABC. And in order to make the name unique, I'm using the expression UTC. Now it that expression would give me the present time and date and seconds type of output dot html since that file is the html file and the content in the our html we need to create one table okay so we use the html code for adding table table let's say border would be border is let's say five closing that table and our table should have header okay in the first row it should have header ch close the header first start the second header close the second header okay. so first header should tell us what is what are the what type of all values are coming in this column so it would be let's say name okay. and in the second column pick or the pattern image would be image and now when the first rows get completed we need the Array variable we need the complete table that has created from the get files okay so as we have stored that complete thing in the final table variable so we'll use final table here okay that's like we can't add completely add the array variable okay so that's why we have copied the array variable value to the string variable and now we can add it to here so our file has created now is the time to change the file properties to the PDF because that file we have created till now is the HTML file so we use convert file convert file into PDF convert convert file using path okay so I have created file in the OneDrive the reason for this is because we have a connector that can change the file properties 
only in the one drive for now so that file has created in the where it has created in the HTML files uh, okay it should be path sorry sorry path so path file created path okay and for using path and now we need to create one another file that will be the PDF and we are this time we are creating it to our one drive not one drive in the SharePoint in the same site and the folder would be uh, let's say generated files yeah generated files and uh, here it would be ABC only ABC UTC now and now it has changed to PDF PDF and the content would be the kernel file using path content okay the uh, image content now as we need that thing to in our power app so we use power app on to power app flow and that should have one text let's say link and it should have the link still to the site name okay and after that it should have a path of the file that has just created okay and the name would be let's say get image is our flow name so just saving it and for now we'll just taking it to my power app now so i guess here it is my power app i guess here yeah so i have already added one button in the power app so there's nothing added here so i'm just going to add the that flow so get image here only so it's adding and since uh, whenever the user click on this button that pdf should be downloaded in the system okay so in order to that download that into the system we need to launch the url the link that is coming from the, the power automate okay we are going to launch it launch yes okay now let's try cross your fingers guys let's see whether it is working fine or not it is loading loading is still loading yes okay so there is a type of error that is coming here we just need to see what wrong we have done so I'm just taking to my flow something has wrong has done everything is right except some things okay so let me just pause that video for once so yes guys uh, I searched that flow and got to know that that way is the error so in the apply to each there is a by default behavior of the uh, array variable that if you click the enter it will take this slash ends okay so we'll write everything in a single line now that is how and yes okay and since this base 64 is is an image okay so we need to use the image thing that we use in our HTML so it would be I image IMG SRC equals to and this content single quotes around it and simply close it okay now we need since this base 64 is a conversion of the output now simply close this and save this and come back to my application now we again click on this button and see whether it is working fine or not okay so let's click it so it is running it is running and it created that pdf which is having a table and the name and the image okay 